theoretical hypothesis states that uh, individuals they base their consumption decisions on the expected lifetime income not just current income so what people generally aim is to have a smooth lifetime consumption in all periods of life they want to have similar consumption patterns people move through three broad phases of life one is youth where earnings are very low but spending is huge so in order to have a stable consumption they dis save then there is a period middle age when their incomes are at peak and they are saving also a lot their consumption is not increasing much but their incomes are low so in this period their savings are going to increase and then there is a period of old age which is the period of low income or no income in that period also they are not earning much but they are consuming a lot so this period is also of dis saving this pattern creates hump shaped wealth curve wealth is very low early in life then it increases in middle life and then it again goes low in the old age so instead of basing their decision purely on the current income life cycle hypothesis says that consumption depends upon expected income and wealth which is accumulated